Well, just a couple of nights ago, a meteor streaked over Michigan, and it was all over social media. The boom was so loud it caused a small earthquake about 40 miles northeast of Detroit. But today, the, all the talk is about the Indiana meteor. Our Rich and I talked to some of the people who were lucky enough to witness it and those who understand this phenomenon the best. Well, any night there may be four or five meteors an hour somewhere in the atmosphere, but very few are so visible like this fireball over central Indiana last night. And with video cameras everywhere and always rolling, you can see it tonight, even if you missed it last night. In between the trees and then up above. Karen Wingler saw out her living room window in Beach Grove what many Hoosiers saw, or their video systems captured. I don't know why I looked particularly outside, but I glanced kind of to the northeast and it looked like lightning. And I thought, <laughs> Why would there be lightning at, you know, 11, I think it was around 11.45 or so. Brian Bunton's camera for watching wildlife in Johnson County caught this wild scene in the sky. Typically a meteor only lasts a few seconds in the sky, and it will traverse a large angle through the sky. We're talking perhaps a quarter to halfway across the sky. Most things can't move that fast. Um, so when you see one of these things, and I've seen a few fireballs in my lifetime, usually I'm just walking and look up, whoa, what was that? Um, you know, they are spectacular events. Brian Murphy studies the heavens at the Holcomb Observatory at Butler University. Murphy says last night's meteor over Indiana was probably no bigger than a basketball. The Earth collects tons and tons of matter from outer space every day. Just We call them meteorites. Most of them are sand-sized particles. This one was a larger one, and when it entered the atmosphere, it's entering at 30,000 miles per hour. And the effect of that is it heats up to thousands of degrees, and eventually the pressure on one side causes it to explode. It was almost like a firework in a way. It just it lit up. This home security system in Marion shows the flash in the sky from nine angles. The American Meteor Society logged almost 70 eyewitness reports across the region Wednesday night. Bless you. Bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, I didn't see it, but we received more than 100 comments on Facebook from people who saw the fireball. And Angela, yeah. you saw it on the drive home last night? I was on my way home, so I was eastbound on 70 between Post and Mount Comfort. And I agree with her. It looked like lightning. And I know it couldn't have been lightning. Right. So I called uh, Tony on the news desk and I said, this is going to sound crazy. But I just saw a big flash in the sky. And he did some digging. And sure enough, thank you to all of our viewers that pitched in on the videos and the pictures. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not crazy. So do they have any idea where it landed? <laughs> no, not this one, not yet. Huh. Or if it landed, you know, sure. right, I can it may have all burned up, right? Yeah. Interesting. It was. All right. Cool story. Thank you, Rich. Very, no very no cool noise story. or boom associated I, with it? I didn't hear anything. I just caught the big flash out uh -huh. of the corner of my eye. So oh, pretty so fun. Cool. Yeah, it was fun.